Hello, so another beer review. Today we've got a Belgian ale. We've got La Chouf, uh, their blonde ale, which is an 8% strong blonde Belgian ale. Or beer Belge blonde or blonde Belgish beer. Uh, I would read the description, but it seems to be all in French. Um, yeah, so, see if there is an English ingredient. Oh, there is an English ingredient. Uh, they've got water, barley, malt, invert, sugar syrup, yeast, hop, and coriander. So there's coriander in this. So anyway, yeah, sounds good. Let's do another Belgian ale. Let's get it cracked open and in a glass. Ooh, it's a lively bugger. It is a lively bugger. Look at that. I mean, this isn't the right glass for a Belgian beer at all, but I know that would make any difference. Because, yeah, a lot of head. Several fingers of, of a off-white head. I can smell it from here. Gosh. Ooh, it smells yeasty. Lots of clove. That's sort of typical Belgian y smell. It's like malty, fruity, funky. It's like tart smelling. A bit wheaty. Esters. Bit of apple maybe. That smells smells good. Let's dive in. Yeah, it's really malty. Quite sweet. Sort of like fruit tannins. Oh, back again. Come on, Bowie, I've already done one clickbaity video about you being I can't do another. Um Basically, you might as well just call it. It's just a fucking cat channel now, isn't it? Not a bloody uh, beer review channel. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh dear. Yeah, I think he took that offence to that. Uh, I left. Light hoppiness. Yeah, very fruity. It's sort of like a bit of an underlying sort of uh, molasses, sort of brown sugary sort of taste, and a bit of toffee. Quite dry on the finish. A little touch of bitterness. Yeah, it's a very solid Belgian ale. You know, I don't really review much like these sort of beers much on the channel, really. Probably should more. Yeah, it's like spicy. Very easy drinking. This is 8%. It's very easy drinking. It does have a little bit of a sort of warmth on the back end, but it's way too easy drinking as a lot of Belgian beers are. I mean, bloody hell. If you go to Belgium, they give you these in bloody massive glasses. And you get pissed in no time. Um... Not that I've ever been to Belgium, really. It's definitely on my bucket list. Um, let's rate this up. Yeah, it's a tasty, really tasty uh, Belgian blonde, this. 
you know, and it's actually got some sort of flavours, interestingly, what I'd associate with sort of darker Belgian beers. You know, a bit of sort of like the sort of the sweet, uh, sort of malty sort of molasses taste, but it's, you know, it has got that light hoppiness and sort of fruitiness of like a sort of blonde and always has that Belgian yeastiness. I'll give this, this is really nice, I'd probably give this a solid, nice solid four out of five. You know, it's a very good, readily available Belgian ale. This is, doesn't cost a lot of money, I think it's like a couple of quid in Tesco's. You know, if you wanted some really nice beers, you know, just to drink at home on a budget, you know, you could go, you could, could, you could do a lot worse than this. At the price point, you know, a really tasty little little beer. Well, I say little, only in a bottle, in a free fair bottle, not in ABV at 8%. But yeah, thank you for watching. This has been the review of Le Chouf by a blonde, by Le Chouf, I guess. Um, please drop us your thoughts below. Uh, give us a like, subscribe if you haven't already, click the bell icon to be alerted all future videos and hopefully we'll see you on the next one. Cheers.